Hi, Big Dreamers, Johnny Kingston here, Chief Big Dreamer of the internet. I don't know which way we're going to do the hair today. How is everybody today? I'm super excited to talk to you guys. Okay, let's turn you guys up because we have cafe situation, loud vibes going on, per usual. But this is my little work station. I'm so excited to have you guys. Um, okay, all right. We are live, we are live, we are live. I forgot to do an Instagram story to say that I was going live. Damn it! Oh, my before, after, before, during, and after strategy is not seeming to be working out as it usually would be. Loving the hair vibes today, because guess what? I washed it, which is crazy and amazing, and all the things at once. Okay. I feel like I really should have gone live over my Instagram. I'm going to go and actually see if I can do that. Hang on. Okay. Sorry. I want to make this sort of completely and utterly actually valuable to you, even if you're not thinking of, dreaming of, traveling, or full-time homeschooling. I want you to know the, the principles of this are actually universal. So I'm going to actually share this across over to my Facebook profile. So you're currently watching this on my Facebook page. So what I want to actually go over is seven of the mindset shifts that really help me to work while I'm traveling. And no matter what I'm juggling, it helps me to get unjuggled even when I'm juggling a million things. Say that be business, say that be branding, business, life, being myself, homeschooling, traveling, all the things. Why is it not working? Man, my starts of my lives lately have been so shitty. I really pride myself on actually doing amazing Facebook Lives intros because I do use these. I multi-purpose these later and this is not the best intro. I'm really usually great at my intros lately anyway. Um, okay, anyway, so I want to give you some principles and fundamental principles that are going to help you to unjuggle your juggling act wherever you're at and if you're an OG big dreamer you'll know these concepts are actually old school these are old school concepts made brand new I'm going to I want to rename this because it's like essential mindset shifts really this is like essential mindset shift. actually I'll share this over and I'll put it it's essential mindset shifts really to help you to juggle all the things that you want to be juggling and it's bringing back some old school old mindset paradigms mindset shifts that I used years and years and years ago to juggle a heap of kids and uni and business building the essential and cold mindset shifts for unjuggling your juggling act I know right that's so old school but the mindset shifts I'm using still today from years ago okay the five essential mindset shifts yay this is gonna be so cool actually I didn't even plan to do this but this is gonna actually work this is gonna be really cool okay guys who is here? Let me know who is here. Don't be shy, don't be shy, don't be shy. Hello, Rega! Hello. Okay, I'm freaking freezing. Okay, and it's not even cold to like Australian standards right now, but it's so cold in Broome today. It's not the funnest thing ever. Guys, say hi if you're there. Don't leave me hanging. Don't leave me hanging. Let's get this party stamped. Ah, oh, hi, Rebecca. Hi, hi, hi. Who remembers my five essential mindset shifts of I'm juggling your juggling act back in the day? Hi, Callie. It was actually my first free five day free series that I ever, ever, ever created. And it's so funny because I use those exact methods, those exact essential mindset shifts today. And I want to walk you through some of them right here, right now, because this is how I work and travel and homeschool. And it doesn't matter what three things I'm juggling at a time, whether that is full-time uni, because at one stage I was juggling a whole heap of businesses. I was starting a whole heap of businesses, university. P.S. How's the sound going? Because I don't have my earphones in because I'm trying to charge my phone ready for um, my creator mind session that we've got going on soon. 
but um, let me know how that sound is going. I'll go a bit closer for you guys. <laughs> I'm all up in your business. So the whether I'm juggling university and business and all the things, sound is good, awesome, cool, okay. Or whether I'm juggling work and travel and homeschool or whether I'm juggling just babies and business and balance and all the things. These essential mindset shifts will help you, literally help you to unjuggle your juggling act, whatever you're juggling, because I want this to be really beneficial for you guys. Hi Rachel, I'm so excited you're here. Um, I want this to be super beneficial to you guys, whether you dream of working, traveling and homeschooling. So put your big dreams down below and let me know how many things that means that you would be juggling. So it's a really good idea to actually go, okay, so if my big dream is to have a multiple six-figure life workers business plus travel full-time plus whatever else it is, what is the, what is actually, look at your big dreams and let's look at all the things that you would be juggling in order to have those come true. So I wanna go over the first mindset shift, who is ready? Okay, we're gonna dig straight into this. Because here's the thing, once you shift your mindset, if you are shifting your mindset, then guess what? You're gonna be able to unjuggle your juggling action, you're gonna be able to do the things like work and travel and homeschool. So, you ready? You are ready for this. So my first one is so funny because it's enjoy or endure. Because here's the thing, it doesn't matter how big of a big dream you are living, there is always going to be certain obstacles, certain um, things where you're going to be juggling a bajillion things. You are going to be um, coming up against obstacles, confronted with you know some friction, confronted with like hard things to do. So one of my first mindset shifts is enjoy or endure. It's like a mindset shift that I've this and these ps these are from 2013 and i still use them today so let's go mindset shift one equals enjoy or endure and this is some of the stuff and some of the work that i'm putting into big dreams blueprint which i'm super excited so mindset shift in number one is to enjoy versus endure or yeah, because you can endure something because some people actually believe that working and traveling and homeschooling are super hard things to do. And you can either have the mindset of enduring or an endurance or you can enjoy it and you can find ways to enjoy it. The same thing goes for when I was juggling university and business. It could be something that I had to endure or it could be something that I got to enjoy. Does that make sense? So it's really about always shifting your mind back. Can I enjoy this versus endure this and be really present? So that is my first mindset shift. So the way that I do this with work and travel and homeschool is just understanding that I can endure it, the travel. I can endure working and traveling. I can endure um, homeschooling or I can find a way to enjoy it because it is naturally, I can naturally enjoy all this stuff. And it's easier for me to enjoy all this work, travel and homeschooling because it is my big dreams. Whereas before, my muscles of enjoy versus endure were actually built on, you know, unjuggling my juggling act from where it was at. From where it was at back then was really unjuggling all the elements of my day-to-day -day life and creating this life now. So this is ultimately the big dream, but all the muscles and all the mindset shifts that I created then, I still use them now, today, in this reality. It's basically like I needed those mindset shifts to be able to have the muscle to have those mindset shifts for now. Because essentially, working, traveling, homeschooling on paper is harder than what I was unjuggling before. Make sense? Okay. So the way that I juggle work and travel and homeschool is really practically finding all the ways that I can make it more enjoyable, aka I go to the cafe every day. That's why I go to the cafe to work every day because going to the cafe every day to work helps me to enjoy, enjoy it versus endure it. Endure means I sit sometimes and I do my client sessions and I do my classes and I do all my things in the car or around the kids and that was enduring it. So I find, found a way to like enjoy, how can I make it more of an enjoyable experience for myself? And I that's why I come to cafes because it's actually way more enjoyable for me to 
um, come to a cafe and do my work in a cafe. So is that my socks? Let me know. Let me know. Okay, who is here? Let me know. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go and share this with my creator minds. This is so cute. I cannot believe we are literally at 78 of my Facebook live quest. I'll be live in Creator Mind in 40 minutes, but right now I'm live on my Facebook page. Yay! So cool. This is really important stuff. Really important stuff. So. So that's basically, that's how I do it. I've found a way. How can you find a way to enjoy the experience more versus enduring it? Notes taken. So number two. Some number two is engaged enthusiasm. Okay, so this can be, this is actually Entrepreneurial Energetics 101. So Entrepreneurial Energetics is something that I put into my Big Dreams Blueprint course um, and also is a part of my Big Dreams Blueprint where I actually find, have found a way to create an energetic set point which sets me up every day is my energetic set point, my entrepreneurial energetics are engaged enthusiasm. Here's the thing, you get to choose your entrepreneurial energetics. You get to choose how you get to feel every day. You get to choose actually what your set point is, what your goal is, what your target is, what your milestone is energetically. So it may not be engaged enthusiasm, but this is the framework, this is the model, this is what I use, is engaged enthusiasm, because here's what it does. Engaged enthusiasm for me is engaged means I'm present. Engaged means I'm mindful. Engaged means I'm active. I'm not a passive participant of my day-to-day -day life. I'm an active participant of my day-to-day -day life online entrepreneurial energetics. So engaged is like present, mindful, active. So it encapsulates everything that I want to be. Enthusiastic means what is the energy that I want to bring to the situation? What's the energy that I want to bring to my days? What's the energy I want to be, bring to my business? And what's the energy that I want to bring to my life? Because enthusiasm is, enthusiasm is kind of like excitement, um, but it's also this beautiful sunshiny um, energy that I naturally have but also I can, it cannot be my natural state as well. So you wanna just pick what your entrepreneurial energetics is and this is one of the steps. I can't remember which one it is. I don't have the numbers. It's key number, I don't know, 21 or something. Key number 21 of your Victor's blueprint. Hi Melinda, oh my God, this is so cool. I'm making, this is actually a really cool training. I'm really excited about this. So, what I want you to remember is one of, so one of the big dreams blueprint things that we do is we really choose and pick our entrepreneurial energetics and we understand that that's going to be our default setting. So every single day we are on a mission. I'm on a mission every single day. Hi, Melinda. So excited you're here. I'm going to be live in Creative Mind in 40 minutes, but I thought that I would do a really cool, valuable substance filled Facebook live for you guys right here, right now. And I know that not all of us will be working and traveling and homeschooling, but all of us are juggling um, multiple things at once and I want to really give you a framework of how I juggle a heap of things and these muscles that I've created by juggling a heap of things um, have helped me I established these back in 2013 these are the mindset shifts that I created in 2013 and these are the mindset shifts that I've created and held and had this entire time in my business and I know that working and traveling and homeschooling sounds like this really glamorous thing which it is but at the same time the muscles that I created and the mindset that I established back in the day in my beginning stages are what helped me today to do things that a lot of people feel and find very hard and I find it very natural and easy 
and a natural extension of who I am and what I do. And this is how I'm able to work and travel and homeschool at the same time simultaneously is because when I was juggling university and business and online business and launching a heap of courses, because I launched little courses every single month and wrote books with babies and the same mindset shifts that I had then and I made then created the muscles that I use today for being able to juggle the work and the travel and the homeschooling and the living the holiday life at the same time. So I basically get to live a holiday life, but I get to work and travel and homeschool at the same time. So I'm 24 seven with my kids and my family. Hi, Kerry, I'm so excited you're here. Say hi. Um, so I get to do and juggle all the things that I used to juggle, well, different things obviously, but all the muscles that I created and the mindset that I established then. So the, what I want this to give to you is to go, okay, the mindset and the, mu the muscles that I create right now are gonna give me the mindset, the set of mind, and the state of mind, hey, hey, the state of mind that's gonna help you to have all of your big dreams. So I want you to put down below, what are your big dreams that you are chasing right now? What are the big dreams you're looking for right now? And what are you going to have to juggle in order to be doing those things? So for me, it was like, I wanna work, I wanna travel, I wanna homeschool the kids. Well, I, want, I mean, that wasn't the dream, <laughs> to be honest. It was actually, I wanna be with my kids more. Um, I wanna work, I wanna travel, I wanna do all these things. Look at your big dreams. Your big dreams will le legit be a juggling act. It could be speaking on stages. It could be what is your big dreams and what are you going to have to balance in order to be able to achieve those big dreams. This is mindset stuff 101 because when you look at where you want to be, the place that you want to be, right here, right now, the mindset stuff that you establish right now, the mindset shifts that you make right now, the muscles that you create right now are going to help you when you do achieve that big dream. Does that make sense? So number one, just to recap, it was enjoy or endure. So at any state of your juggling act, so when right back when I had the babies, it was babies, it was juggling big dreams, it was juggling babies, it was juggling business, and it was juggling all these things, right? And so what I actually created and made was this enjoy versus endure mindset shift. Because if I wasn't enjoying, if I wasn't enduring, let me know how the sound is too. If I wasn't enduring, enjoying, then what is the whole point, right? But at the same time, it was actually really quite hard. All the things that I was juggling at that time was babies and writing books and eBooks and, and figuring out online tech and figuring out how to balance businesses and finish my uni degree and you know, have two kids in dance and whatever of the mum stuff that I had going on at the time. But it was really about what are my mindset shifts and my number one mindset shift that I made and I created and the muscle that serves me so well today is enjoy or endure. Because even with travel, I know it's glamorous. I know that it's amazing and I'm so grateful for the experience that I have. But it can be a point, a place and a point where people endure it because not everybody lasts doing what we do not everybody is able to and capable of traveling full-time especially add work to that situation especially add the homeschooling so many people quit on the traveling Australia because it's freaking hard it's but because I have a mindset shift of enjoy versus endure and so I find all the ways that I can enjoy it more so for me how I work and travel and homeschool is I that's why I'm at the cafe. Do you ever wonder why I'm at the cafe all the time? I could be literally sitting back at the caravan with the kids and doing my work there, but I love to create a more enjoyable experience for me and a more enjoyable experience for you guys by getting myself out, by going to cafes, and that helps me to enjoy my juggling act even more. So find ways, and that comes from I'm so experienced with setting my mind and shifting my mind into enjoyment versus enduring. Does this make sense? Let me know. Is this hitting home for you guys? So the number two mindset shift um, is engaged enthusiasm. So for me, this is one of the Big Dreams Blueprint like fundamentals, the Big Dreams Blueprint in um, mindset shifts is to be able to understand that you get to choose your energetic state and you can go on a mission every and we don't wake up in that state every day i guarantee you i wake up maybe 10 percent in the state that i want to be in it's a mission for me a daily mission mission for me to get myself in the energetic state to create it's a daily mission for me to tap into the entrepreneurial energetics that i want to have so that i can create more so i can give more so i provide more so i can be more so i can achieve my big dreams and live out my big dreams and um 
enjoy my big dreams. So mine's engaged enthusiasm. So pick yours. Mine's engaged. Engaged is important for me because it's mindful. It means presence and it means active. It's an active mindfulness because mindfulness can be kind of like empty your mind. But for me, engaged means presence. It's active presence. It's active mindfulness. It's act, it's an action in and of itself. Engagement is an action. Enthusiasm is an amazing energy to have. It's like excited, it's like ecstasy, it's like such a high vibe energy to have. So, talk to me, peoples, talk to me. <laughs> okay, I feel like I am talking really fast because I've got my creative mind session coming up, but number three mindset shift. I don't even know what it is. I'm just coming up with these on the flies, but actually they were very much based on back in the day, these mindset shifts that I created. Let me know if that resonates and that helps. So what are you juggling right now? And what are the big dreams that you would be juggling in the future? What would things would you be juggling in the future if you were to achieve your big dreams? So we got to get really good at juggling and getting unjuggled. Unjuggling your juggling act. Okay, so where are these? Um, essential mindset shifts. Jana. I'm searching myself so I can find these. Hi, Sean. I'm so excited to see you. Enjoy, not enjoy. I love this. It's such a fundamental. P.S. OG Big Dreamer in the house. I'm doing essential mindset shifts. Oh my god, okay, day four is engagement. Shift five was excitement. Excitement is a really amazing. Day one is enjoy or endure. That's so cool. I love that. I love seeing this stuff. Elimination. Oh my god, that's so cool. This is so cool seeing these. I don't necessarily, okay. Well, elimination is probably one of the mindset shifts because I eliminate anything that's unnecessary. Enjoy versus enjoy. It's like basically. I make it a more enjoyable experience for myself by looking at going to cafes or going and doing location lives and making my um, days just like so much fun. Um, what else? Okay, a major one is actually gratitude. I would say gratitude is a major mindset shift. It's one of the seven essential mindset shifts of Big Dreams. So Big Dreams Blueprint, you all know, is a complete and utter framework. It's my success model. It is a three-month course. That's how much practices are in it. There's literally a minimum of 84. There could be more practices inside of Big Dreams Blueprint, which is all the practices that I use because I've got all these mindset shifts. I've got all these strategies. I've got all these steps. I've got all these skills. I've got all these success stages and stuff like this that formulate and created my success model. So um, one of the sections, so part, one of the parts is around the mindset shifts and one of the major ones that I have and I've created is gratitude and gratitude is one of these things where it's basically being grateful for the shit gratitude to me is this okay great gratitude is like grateful for the grit to keep on glowing and going when shit gets hard because there's always going to be iterations of flows and ebbs in your life and it's figuring out and finding a way to be grateful um, genuinely not just pretend not just teenage type gratitude this was such a fundamental life lesson that i got uh two years ago it was major before our big dreams lap number one it was literally i got gratitude in my cells and i got it for the first time ever and it was like so for me the paradigm the mindset shift is gratitude for the shit appreciation is the stuff i appreciate the things that i want more of gratitude is basically being grateful for the character I'm creating through growing and growth and the growing pains because every big dream that you go after is going to create and cause growing pains every single big dream so um, really looking at right now what are the things that you could be grateful for what are the all the things that you could be grateful for and this is like working and traveling and homeschooling there's always things that come up where you've got to have the grit to keep on going and growing for your big dreams so when you create to me gratitude is what helps me to create the grit to keep on going and growing for my big dreams with grace so grace and grit and growth and gratitude. That's what gratitude gives me. Gratitude is like the four-step process um, 
for grit, grace, and growth. And those are, like I said, some of the actionables inside of, and some of the practical practice practices inside of Big Dreams Blueprint. Like I said, this is meditations, this is visualizations, this is transmissions, this is practical actions more than 84 of them inside of Big Dreams Blueprint because it's one thing for me to say these concepts. It's another thing for me to give you the tools and the resources to use these concepts, for it to be in-house, for all the resources, all the tools to be in-house. So that's what um, Big Dreams Blueprint, that's like the point of difference. That's why it's such a massive course. That's why it's the biggest course that I've ever created. The most... Um, complete course around uh, my success model it's basically all the things all in-house because I've always had to send you guys like off on tangents over the internet here's this resource here's this meditation here's this visualization here's this video here there and everywhere and now I just want to have a complete and utter um, collection of all the practices that I use and the tools and the resources and the meditations journalings um, transmissions visualizations all in one spot and so that's what we've got so make sure you message me if you want to be a part of um, Big Dreams Blueprint I'm super excited about it we start on the 1st of August but today I'm putting um, I'm starting to download all the meditations and upload the meditations for you guys because guess what guess what guess what guess what I will be selling the meditations and the visualizations separately but you're not gonna get the context in which they're created and that's what you're going to be getting inside of Big Dreams Blueprint which is going to be daily 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 deep dive daily trainings for freaking three months so that's how I work and travel and homeschool ah, I got pins and needles again do you have any questions <sighs> another thing is segmenting out or oh, another way that I work and travel is okay so today for example is Tuesday this is my client day so it's my whole family one of the things is communication when you've got an online business and always knowing what each other are doing and so um, I don't need to say every Monday night I'm working tomorrow because everybody knows that Tuesday and this has taken time to build up but everybody knows Tuesdays is my client coaching day and so everybody knows the best thing about that sort of communication and that that communication line is because um because what do you find hard what is one a problem what so it's the solution is always in the problem so how i work in travel and homeschool is literally looking at what are the problem areas okay and then creating a solution every single problem gets to get attention because that's where the solution is going to be so when it was like i had to sort of say on a Tuesday night oh, I'm gonna coaching calls tomorrow and sometimes I may forget and then it was just like Friday afternoons we're doing coaching clients and then it's like okay and everyone gets this whiplash work whiplash because they don't know when I'm working where I'm working um, and they get whiplash from that so the way that I do it is I have set days that are designated days Hashtag designated days down below. That's pretty good. Designated days where I do specific things. And my mind is basically, mind is made up when I wake up what I'm doing because it's already set. And I'm not one to love schedules, but I'm love one to love eliminating having to think about unnecessary things. So I... One of the mindset shifts that I had of unjuggling my juggling act, but an essential mindset shift is eliminating things that be keep becoming a problem area. Don't just keep on having it being getting work whiplash. Do something about it. And so what I did was create Tuesdays in the mornings and in the afternoons. Um, because I've taken on more clients, I now have an afternoon segment, but it used to be just the mornings. It was just from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. I would do my client sessions. And that was it. That was it. That was it. That was it. But now it's not. Now it's like morning till um, in the mornings. I do 6 a.m. till 10 a.m., which is right now. Um, and then in the afternoons, I do from 2 p.m. to about 4 p.m. of client sessions because I have so many sessions now. But my one on one clients, I do 20 minute sessions. So that's pretty amazing. I do one on one clients for my. Um, 
20 minute sessions and I do them weekly for my clients and I find that keeps them set and it keeps them going and it keeps them um, it keeps them completely in sync with their soul it completely keeps them in sync with their life's work it keeps them on their me branding missions it keeps them really levitating to new levels of their life's work and it keeps them activating their creator mind because that's what I do that's all the areas I do business branding big dreams and beyond um, and it keeps them going after their big dreams when they want to fall off the big dreams bandwagon because big dreams bandwagon is something that people want to fall off a lot and they want to and I'm here to help to be the conduit for your big dreams to help you to keep on going and growing for your big dreams when it gets hard um, that's what I'm here to do because that's what I love to do that's my most important work my actual purpose is to help you to feel capable of your big dreams which means continually resetting you and reminding you of your capacity and your capability and your ability to achieve your big dreams so that is me on my purpose okay so what else do we got going on here okay is this all making sense it's a very quiet live stream today but that's okay i'm gonna go with that very quiet live stream everybody's very quiet must be very engaging stuff <laughs> it must be super engaging oh wow how cool is that Oh my god, I love that. That's so cool. I'm just looking at my photos. Some of my photos just popped up. It's like, oh my god, this is so cool. So, say hi if you're in the house. I've seen all the people that have popped on. Oh, hi, everybody. It's, it says Rachel's here, Kerry's here, and Belinda's here. Thank you so much for being here live. I so appreciate your presence. Um, what else do you want to know? What do you guys want to know about working and traveling and homeschooling? Or pretty much just unjuggling your juggling act so you can go after your big dreams. Because here's the thing. I've made it into a natural extension of who I am. I've just made it into who I am. <laughs> I love it. Kerry said, haha, I'm in a workshop working, but love listening and pondering. I do that too. I do that too. I literally listen to live streams in a different tab. And I might be doing tech in another one or I might be doing something different. Um, in another one or doing my tax in a different one and <laughs> I'm listening to live streams so I totally get that um, multitasking is the best thing freaking ever how I work and travel and homeschool I multitask what else do you guys want to know what else do you want me to riff on around working and traveling and juggling and big dreams who is joining us for Big Dreams for your friend? I'm so freaking excited about this course. This is the biggest course that I've ever created in my whole damn life. It is meditations, visualizations. It's my next level work. And here's the thing. I was talking to my mission 12s. I was like, oh, you know what? Only the ones that really need it are the ones that are not going to understand its importance. They're going to want the business strategies. They're going to want the branding strategies. They're not going to understand the relevance and the importance and the whole thing depends on your mindset around your big dreams. I'm inspired listening to you. Yay, Belinda, I love that. And so I'm like, I've got to figure out a way for the people that really need this to be able to understand on a next level the importance and the position that big dreams take and make in your life. Because... It's worrying to me the how deeply and how committed people are to learning the strategies that I teach and they are not that committed to learning the big dreams strategies like the success stages like being able to navigate resistance and being able to navigate navigate sabotage like then just not getting it not mine no <laughs> thanks um, and so I'm on a personal mission with this launch of Big Dreams Blueprint for you guys to understand that the mindset is the grid that makes all your business and branding dreams come true. Because business is just a vessel and a vehicle for your big dreams. And it's also just a vehicle and a vessel for your life's work. So you can make a living doing what you love. So I think... I'm on a personal mission for the next two weeks of the Big Dreams Blueprint launch to really make it matter because here's the thing, it matters and I actually feel like it matters 90%. The strategies I give you are sick. They're amazing. My strategies are the most practical strategies, the most usable, the most doable strategies you'll see on the internet. Um, which can get you results like today. But if you do not have the mindset scaffolding that helps you to succeed at continually doing the strategies I teach you to do 
then it's a waste of my time and it's a waste of your time because unless you have the success scaffolding that keeps you and helps you to be set up for success, to start your success cycles, to stick to your success, to have the stamina to stick it out, then it's a waste of everyone's time. I'm homeschooling and running business too, needing to figure out clarity of my next spring. Exactly. So this is the thing is like, how do we amplify? How do we accelerate? How do we speed up our big dreams timelines? Because you all know the way that I see timeline, big dreams timelines is if you are doing what I do is multiple big dreaming at once. You've got multiple big dreams existing on multiple timelines at the same time. When you have got one big dream, that's the easiest thing in the world because you've got one big dreams timeline that you were existing on. So maybe your one big dream is to create a multiple six figure organic online life workers business. <laughs> so if it's that, it's kind of easy because you don't have multiple big dreams that you can be in different sections of the success stages of. So I've talked about this before. So with working and traveling and homeschooling, this kind of works in like that I'm living in the manifestation of big dream while going after other big dreams of a million dollar business, of um, publishing my big dreams book. There is multiple timelines that I'm playing with, which means it's an emotional, mental, physical, energetical, spiritual shitstorm. If you do not know how to navigate each of the stages of your success cycles and understanding what success stage you're at and in for each big dream, which means we're being attuned and attentive and really um, aware of where we're at and where we sit every single day so you understand what is the best next right move every single day because otherwise you are lost in the wilderness of your big dreams and shit can get wild it's like a wild shit storm if you do not know what is going on mentally emotionally physically spiritually energetically as you chase big dreams because you are going through a metamorphosis. Every single big dream you choose, you select, you go after, you are choosing a metamorphosis. You are choosing to go from a caterpillar to a butterfly. But guess what? What if you've got another multi what if you've got another big dream that is in the you're in resistance to or you're in the um, results of you haven't quite solidified it into the sweet success stage. What if you're in that? simultaneously hello shitstorm <laughs> hello daily shitstorm and you're gonna think you're not cut out of it cut out for it you're gonna think you're not capable of your big dreams and that is what I'm here to help you with I'm here to help you to get over those humps of not feeling capable of wanting to quit of wanting to drop out and then going for it again and then feeling that again and then continually and constantly feeling like you're living in some kind of shitstorm and not understanding that this is the life of a big dreamer. I'm not here to say it's going to be easy, but I'm not here to say it's got to be hard either. I'm here to show you that we can have the tools, we can have the practices, we can have the mindsets, we can have these resources that help us to circumnavigate each of the stages that we're in to shift our mind for each of the mindset shifts that are required to juggle multiple big dreams at once to be able to achieve your big dreams and to be able to blueprint your soul and your spirit and your psyche with the blueprint that is required to achieve that big dream to be able to go through the metamorphosis is this making sense or is this all up in the la la's for you because i know you guys get it i know you guys get it and i know you guys get that you can put every strategy you can put every skill, you can learn every skill to make it online. Do you believe, do you or do you not believe that you could have every skill to make it online and create a million dollar business? Do you feel like it's only skill that's needed? Or do you feel like there is a certain blueprint, there's a certain success blueprint that is required that helps you to get over the line? Because here's the thing, we've all seen very unskilled onliners make it. And it's not the skill set, it's the mindset that helps you to make it online and otherwise, that helps you achieve your big dreams online and otherwise. So why do we spend so much time establishing and creating a skill set 
when the very thing that's gonna help us to achieve our big dreams is the mindset and it's the very thing that we ignore. Ah, Wendy's in the house, hey! Oh my God, I'm so excited you're here. This has actually been unexpectedly powerful for myself. Um, hopefully for you guys as well. Um, big dreams transmission essentially is really understanding that it's skill set is such a small part of it and it's really sad for me to see the people that truly 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 need to understand that mindset is 90% of it that those are the ones that are so focused on the skill set and not the mindset and I really want to help to shift that and I'm on a mission right now to really help to shift that whether you guys buy big dreams blueprint or not i'm on a mission on the internet to really sh shift it because skill sets important because if you match a really powerful belinda said it's not a skill yes it's mindset yes it is so if we look at it the 80 20 principle which is universally understood and believed and known and we just know it so what if we understood what if you matched the skills that I share, the strategies that I share, like some of the best on the internet, like people don't share them as deeply and comprehensively and practically and doable as I do. I fully know that and believe that, right? So skill set, what it like is on point. When I teach you things like life workers and me brand and creator mind, it is the 20%, getting your 20% um, skill set on freaking point. Mindset, skill set. This is, I'm going to be something that I'm going to run with. Mindset and skill set so what if we can get your skill set to be just like on freaking point that 20% needle mover but what if we can get the 80% mindset which is basically big dreams blueprint what if we can get the 80% on point as well it's inevitable success right it's inevitable you can't not win you can't not achieve your big dreams if you have really... Because here's the thing. If you get your 20% skill set, 80% mindset... Oh, my God. I love that. Thank you so much, Wendy. That's so good. That looks way better than mine. Um, <laughs> so what if we worked... Because all of my stuff that I give you guys is 20% skill set. I would say the same for business. Exactly. This is what I'm talking about. Business branding and big dreams and beyond. It is all comes down to... 80% mindset, 20% skill set, but we also don't want to think. I think some people get tripped up because, you know, in Big Dreams Blueprint, I talk about a lot of business and branding and being yourself and bringing it online and butt kicking. I talk about that in Big Dreams Blueprint. Those are some of the things that I put, put in there. But a lot of people that do just focus on the mindset, the problem that they've got there is they're not focusing on the skill set either. So they're not actually. That's all well and good to be really focused on the, the mindset and getting it popping and on point at 80%. But if you don't have that 20% either, you're not going to make it either. So it's really about actually creating equal weight, not 50-50, but equal weight and understanding to each that this creates this 100% situation. And most people think it's the other way around. I know. And so I'm on a mission because the people that are thinking that it's under the other way around, 80% skill set, are the ones that really freaking need help like they really need help because they're really trying really hard they have it in them but they're just focusing and putting the attention in the complete wrong areas um that and also putting 80 percent of energy into only something that's only going to create 20 percent of your results is ridiculous yes you do you need both like strategy is fucking important it is so to get your skill set on point means the mindset work is going to matter but if you have no skill set and you work all on mindset then it's not going to matter because there's nothing to back it up you need to have the skill set to back it up right because otherwise it's just all fluff and talk and mindset shit but if you've got the mindsets and you've got the success scaffolding um the skill set is just going to be a significant advantage advantage Okay, I'm writing shit down. Success scaffolding. <laughs> okay, how is everybody feeling this? So success scaffolding. And yeah, why did I write that twice? I don't know why. I just wanted to make sure. The strategy and skill set gets you going momentum, but the mindset is what gets you 
all the way exactly the mindset helps you to navigate each of the stages right so if you've got say for example you've got this skill set and you've got a bit of mindset that gets you going but if you're not continually working on your mindset then the skill set's not going to matter the mindset is what keeps you going and keeps you implementing the skills and keeps you learning your skills and evolving your skills and levitating and um, elevating your skill set so that's all the stuff that we're going to be talking about in Big Dreams Blueprint. Oh my God, you guys, did you see my framework post that I posted today? I think it was really good. I might post it in the comments here because I actually really liked it. It was really cool because what I did was I actually wrote down the seven Big Dream success stages. And this is just part one of my book. Yes, the book and the course. The Big Dreams book, the Big Dreams course. Did that post? Yep. So make sure you message me. P.S. Mission 9 is the place to go if you just want all the things. If you just know you need me, brand method, life workers, all the things. Sorry. Oh, it can't be more than 8,000 characters. I did not know that. It was so much epicness. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was, wasn't it? Okay. So I'm going to have to actually just talk it through because it's not letting me. So part one of four. It's four parts to the big dreams. Um blueprint it's four parts to the blueprinting process so number one um is the success stages so we go over big dreams blueprint we go over big dream setting and what are the three practices the practicals that help you to do that ps quest queen breakthroughist represents so questing is about you know going on your quest to create the answers to your questions Breakthroughist is about being the builder of the bridges that help you to bridge the gap between where you are and where you want to go. It's about like living in the gap. How do you learn to live in the gap? How do you learn to stop having to live in the lag? Because living in the lag means living in the past manifestation of your past thoughts. And we don't want to live in the lag. We want to live in the manifestations. And then we go to building belief. So it's about belief work is created through quest queen i love that you named me that thanks for the title i love it so release work belief work identity work energy work and then we move into hyper action because i see hyper action as a healing modality um so initially essentially this is three courses this is three courses um i've created a weekly payment plan so it's really super doable for you guys over three months because this is like a must do if you want to completely be transformed and have a complete and utter metamorphosis not just have an information but have a complete and utter transformation this i want you so be in this course i really want this to help to take you to the next level um and then after that you go through the result um, resistance so it's about like really helping you to melt through your resistance and using there's specific strategies that are used to help you to melt through the resistance then we've got results refraction so a lot of the times people really balls it up and they ruin it all in the results phase say for example you write a book um, oh yay somebody just inquired about mission nine thanks anybody else wants to inquire about mission nine well M wendy's already in there but <laughs> make sure you message me um this is where everybody ruins it it's like in the results phase where they've actually written the book and they've got the rewards from that they've achieved the thing achieving is a little bit different achieving is just accomplishing the result actualizing is accomplishing the reality you basically made it a reality you not just create manifested the result you created it into your new reality okay we don't have time to go through all the things but make sure you go and message me quest keen oh my god you just commented on that too i love that thanks so much wendy okay i shall link that below here i'll link the post down below and i'll also link this facebook live below that post as well so I hope you guys have the best day ever growing into big dreams. Thank you so much for being here. This was super fun. Guess what? We are at number 78 of 111 day Facebook live quest. What the actual hell and how the actual did that happen? I don't even know. I don't even understand. All right, I'm going to go over to my creator mind. P.S. Message me if you want to do the self-study of creator mind. It's freaking amazing, but I actually still have a couple days here. I've got, we're on day six today of 11. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So we've got six days to go. That doesn't seem right. Does that seem right? Because that would be, I don't know. 
maybe five days I don't know so I'm super excited I love doing those little um, little 11 day immersion courses so um, message me all, all the things I have been talking about a lot of things today I've been mentioning life workers I've been mentioning all the things life workers create inner mind big dreams blueprint so message me obviously the next thing that's launching is big dreams blueprint which we start on the 1st of August but I start to drop the meditations visualizations transmissions and journaling stuff practicals actionables actualizers activators and actionables in for the big dreams blueprint i start dropping them today have the best day ever going to big dreams and i'll see you in the next video make sure you message me to see what is right for you right now and i will see you in the next video thank you so much and come and join me in create a mind i'll see you there everybody have the best day message me about big dreams blueprint by the way <laughs> if you want to join this revolutionary course next leveling the hell out of your big dreams situation have the best day ever going to be dreams chief big dreamer of internet is out